To determine if BCL3 is polar or nonpolar, we'll start with the Lewis structure. This describes the distribution of valence electrons around the molecule, and it can help us determine polarity. So here's the Lewis structure for BCL3. And now we need to visualize this in three dimensions. We need to know how those chlorine atoms are going to spread out around that central boron atom. For that, we'll use VSEPR, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. So from our Lewis structure, we can see that that boron has three of the chlorine atoms around it and no lone pair electrons. So here we have this purple atom, that's our boron, and we're going to add our chlorine atoms around it. So we add one, and now watch what happens when we add the other. They spread out, they repel to be as far away from each other as possible, and then let's add our third chlorine atom, and we end up with a shape like this, a trigonal planar molecular geometry. If we look at this, we can see that there really are no areas where the charge would be different. It's a symmetrical molecule. If it's symmetrical, we won't have that charge difference, we won't have poles, and if there are no poles, we'll have a nonpolar molecule. So because this BCL3 molecule is symmetrical, it's nonpolar, there's no net dipole. This is Dr. B with the nonpolar molecule BCL3, and thanks for watching.